that. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <sighs> I look like this because I literally just woke up. Um, but I thought I'd pick up the camera because I'm doing a big chop again. I am doing the big chop again. I'm about to take off my braids and I'm about to chop off my hair because I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna be asking questions and feel free to ask your questions respectfully, please. And you know, honestly, this is a lot for me too, if I'm being completely honest. I have been thinking about it for a while. Um, contemplating if I want to cut it off but right now I am decided I think I want to cut my hair honestly the reason why I want to cut my hair is that I want to grow it back too natural and people are gonna ask questions I have questions myself okay I have questions myself so um, I relaxed my hair I love my hair in the texture that I have it but if you've also been watching my videos and if you've seen my hair in its relaxed state, you will know that, um, or maybe you won't know, but I know, I don't think my hair is the type to be relaxed. Uh, it's like I said, I, I feel like even myself, sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing with my hair and that's just the that's just the truth sometimes I don't know what I'm doing with my hair but also another thing that I always say is it's my hair and I'm gonna do whatever I want to do with it um, I am going to learn and unlearn I'm going to make mistakes and I'm going to admit that this is by far one of the biggest mistakes I made with my hair I wish that I had the type of hair that um, could look nice relaxed and I'm not saying my hair doesn't look nice, relaxed. It's not just the type that I want to have. It's not like what I wanted to achieve, okay? I don't know what will happen in the next year. I don't know what will happen in the next six months. I have no idea. But I just want to say that it's a journey. Um, it's like your own self. You learn things, you put some things away, you pick up new things and then you see what's good for you and then you just go with it. So that's what I'm doing with my hair. I'm learning things. I'm learning and unlearning. So there will, there will be mistakes along the line, okay? There, there are going to be mistakes along the line. Um, but I am going to be gentle with myself. And I ask that you guys be gentle with me too, okay? I ask that you guys be gentle with me too. <sighs> so, I'm just gonna... Let me just... So yesterday I... So I did braids. I haven't even uploaded the video for the braids and I'm cutting my hair already. It's insane. Okay guys, so... My hair is out of braids now. My camera... My battery is flashing. Like, I don't even know how I didn't charge my battery, but, um, so my hair's ready to be trimmed. I'm gonna section this into four parts. If the camera dies, it dies, okay. Um, I'll probably charge it and then come back. I don't even know. It's a mess. It's a mess. But I'm just gonna pack this into four. My scalp is so dirty. Um, my washer. My washing machine is running, so if you guys hear that in the background, um, forgive me, okay. But my hair is shedding so much, um, it's just insane. It's not even fun anymore, like, the hair in the back is so broken, you guys can see how short that is. It's just, it looks like a tape I cut, but it's not. So my head is really stressing me out and like dandruff, that's not, that's not, I'm so happy to cut my hair, like I'm actually very happy to shave it all off and like start over again because <laughs> I don't know what the hell is happening to my hair. Do you guys see how much my hair is shedding? Like my head is literally shedding, like it is literally shedding. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. Okay guys, so 
I have my scissors and if you guys can see the hair in the back like I already said that is like a lot more shorter because it's broken off I don't know why so I'm just gonna kind of like use that same level to cut my hair and then I don't want to cut it too short because I don't want to mess it up and then when I'm done I have um, I have this hair so I'll use that to like shape it up really nicely or I'll have my husband do that for me so the first cat oh, oh my god oh, I can't believe I'm actually doing this I could see yeah. I can't believe I grew up all I did all this hair just to like cut it off what I'm thinking is I might not cut it like short 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 and then um, I'll just like grow it out a little and then I can like just trim off the straight ends just so I can be able to like style it a little you know because I kind of want to wear it out I don't want to put on a wig immediately so I'm thinking I think yeah yeah I think I'll just leave it to this length just so that when my husband shakes it up it's not so short, you know? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I honestly thought I'll be dreading myself for doing it, but I'm not. Like, I'm actually happy inside of me, so that's a good thing. Um, I think. Uh, is that what I'm doing? Yes. Oh, I'm happy with what I'm actually doing. You don't even know me like that. Are you past my time? Put you on my mind. Come a little closer like that. Staying up all night. Throwing drinks back. I admit it's working You're working Don't care, you're crazy, it's perfect Shaky and I'm slurring shot I went <laughs> I've, I've been this shot before I've been bald before so I'm not surprised I'm not like I don't feel any type of way I feel if not for anything I feel like myself again <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like okay I just quickly wanted to say something say something about my hair cost I realized I was editing the video and I realized that I didn't actually say the real reason you know I didn't actually say what the problem was with my hair and why I'm cutting my hair I mean I did mention that my hair was thin the area is so noisy it's summer it's almost summer the weather is nice so people are out people have brought out their really annoying cars so you guys will hear a lot of things in the background <laughs> I don't know yeah maybe that should shut it out a little but i realized that i didn't really say much in the beginning i was just like talking about how i'm transitioning from um perm back to natural but the real thing is my hairline okay my edges is currently going going through traction alopecia um so if you're ignorant or if you don't know what traction alopecia is i didn't even know myself so um, I started doing my research and started actually looking into what is wrong with my hair because I started thinking like 
what exactly is wrong with my hair because i've done everything i've used every product castor oil literally everything i know i'm not so consistent with my hair products but i try you know like i try i try so at least i sh i should be seeing something but i have only now come to learn that um i've only now come to learn that the situation that i have with my edges or my hairline is traction alopecia if um you don't know traction alopecia is basically the form of alopecia that you bring onto yourself or that it's like man-made that we cause by ourselves over a period of time so basically say from like over a period of time i have been like doing too much with my hair um doing too much tension styles you know just basically doing too much with my hair and over time it has caused the area in the front to be bald just because like you know i keep pulling it back doing hairstyles that are too tight for my hair type my hair is very thin it's um very fine my edges is like super fine like when they say baby hairs i my hair is a definition of baby hairs because i literally have baby hairs in the front so they're super fine they're super like they need gentle care and everything i didn't know that so over the years it has caused that area to go completely bald i have like actual bald spots in like the front of my hair you guys obviously can see and it, I realized that it's going back. It has started like receding a lot more. So the, it's, it sort of prompted me and then I'm like, you know what? I have to do something about this. I have to read, I have to learn. I have to consult a doctor if I have to. But then I read, thank God for the internet, you know? Thank God for the internet. I've been reading, I've been doing my research, and I've realized that what I have is traction alopecia, and it's totally um, curable. It's totally something that I can, you know, work my way around with consistency and with a good regimen. I can be, and then with also medicine, you have to treat it, treat it from the inside and from the outside. Um, so it's going to be a whole new journey. I'm going to be learning so much about my hair and. Um, trying so many healthy practices what I've come to learn is that in situations like this you need to go back to like the roots and like do natural stuff like her herbs or like herbal stuff so I'm gonna be still doing research and still trying to build the best regimen for my hair but as of now I'm going to leave my hair in a natural state leave my hair as um, natural because my hair is very soft and my hair is not the type of hair that can stand like chemicals and you know my hair is not the type of hair that you basically do too much with but it has landed in a wrong house because it has come to the queen who does too much so i don't know how i can manage myself in this hair but um if i want it to grow i need to be gentle i need to be patient so that's what i'm going to be doing um also if i thought i'll share this you know this has been like my biggest insecurity for the longest time i'm not even gonna lie my hair has been literally my biggest insecurity for the longest time i could never like show up on camera and talk about my edges freely and like show it up like it's been my insecurity okay but now I have realized that I have a condition I can work on it so I'm gonna work on it and I'm gonna share this entire journey with you guys you guys have been here for every hair journey that I've done so I'm excited that um, I get to have like a family out there who's ready to listen who's ready to like encourage me and all of that and I'm excited to do this again and all honesty I'm excited to try new products and also you know be gentle with my hair and love my hair again so um yeah uh, basically that's why i decided to cut my hair again i realized that i didn't really say much in the beginning so i thought that i'll say it right now um, my hair is short i'm going to be doing this journey with you guys again i hope that you guys um be here i hope that you guys stay through um, um i also thought that i'll share this video for anyone who's out there going through traction alopecia or any form of alopecia at all let me also say that people underestimate how much like hair problems 
have an effect on your mental health you know this is literally the first thing somebody sees when they see you like when you see me aside my face what you see is my hair so that's why they say that your hair is like as women your hair is like your crown or your hair is your glory you know that's the thing that we say back home about in english it literally translates as as a woman your hair is like your glory i guess um but it actually does make sense because when people see you that's the first thing they see so and human beings are human beings okay we're curious human beings when i see someone with something that is off i know that i don't have to look too much to make the person feel bad but i know uh, but like naturally i can't like i can't help but like give like a quick glance you know like i can't help but like turn quickly and turn back so it's not sure when i see someone and then they look at my hairline like you know or it's not sure when i show up on here and you guys see my hairline and you're like what the hell happened to your hairline you know it's very normal it's very natural but people underestimate how that has an effect on the person that has the problem first of all you know it's it's a mental thing it's hard but you just have to tell yourself that it's it's not the end of the world that's what i'm always saying like this is not the end of the world the fact that my hairline looks like that is not the end of the world it didn't solve global warming so it's, it's obviously not doing anything to the world you know what i'm saying but also you just need to find confidence and like you just need to find a way to deal with it finesse it and love it you know love it and understand that it's a part of you and you're beautiful in every single way this doesn't define you in any way shape or form that's what i tell myself this that you guys see here it doesn't define me in any way shape or form it's just a mistake that i did with some hairstyles that i did or ways that i handled my hair in the past and i've learned my lessons so i'm going to move on from that so i'm just hoping that anyone that's out there that's also going through any form of hair loss whatsoever finds um some form of like peace in this video because yes it's very hard um but you can't let that bring you down you can't let that be the end of your world you know it's hard but it can be it can be something that like puts you away there's a lot more to you than just that so i don't want to talk too much but i'm pretty sure you guys get what i'm saying um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for being here every single time that I decide to do whatever I want to do with my hair. Thank you guys for respecting my decisions with my hair. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm going to go away now. Comment below. Let me know if you liked the video. Also, give the video a huge thumbs up if you did like the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Follow me on Instagram, Akustia Behini on Instagram. If I'm not creating content here, I'm creating content on Instagram. So you want to do that. Thank you so much for watching i love you i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs> bye guys short hair gang short hair gang we're here <laughs> come a little closer like that staying up all night throwing drinks by blue water smiling while you're cursing i admit it's working Perfect